Cheeseburger, cheeseburger, yeah. la, I'll la, stay la. Quiet. Peeky poo, pip, 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 Let's just sit here and giggle for a while. It's happening. And a one and a two. Come on in and have a good old time. Have a fun time. Oh. We're having a good time And an hour time. Having a fun time Never a time, time. <laughs> With Allison <laughs> You're like Scrappy-Doo <laughs> Scrappy-Doo Aww Or maybe, or maybe like what's Buffy's, what's Buffy's sister's name? Dawn wow. Dawn, Dawn. Yeah, I don't want to be Dawn, like Dawn. Don't What's wrong Don. with Don? What's wrong with Don? Don, Don grows up to be a badass, though. A Don giant. grows up to be a badass. I, I, all the way I get it, though. Like, most most characters do have to, like, work their way in before they're included in the theme song. So that's fine. I, I respect the choice. <laughs> Look how mature like, I am. Don or Scrappy Doo were cool <laughs> from the outset. I'm... I would rather you call me Scrappy than Don. Like, let's let's get clear <laughs> okay. on my feelings oh, about right. these. Interesting. No, Don, Don was okay. Scrappy too no. was the worst. So yeah. you're cooler than either of those. I retract all of that. Never mind. <laughs> all of it is retract. All right. uh, hi, hi. hi, you guys. Hi, hi, you guys. Hi. hi. Happy Friday. Happy. Um, happy. Uh, is it fall? <laughs> uh, we, we have some beautiful backgrounds today. Uh, let's see. Let's yeah. show. I'll show off mine. Um, hello, everybody. My name is Hades. May I take your order today? Uh, this is a beautiful picture that our, our guest will talk about where this is. Um, Evan Sharon Charon also has a beautiful background in which. <laughs> And finally, uh, Scrappy Doo has a. Woof, woof. <laughs> That's not what Scrappy Doo said. He was like, Rat Row, Scooby. Rat Row. Scrappy could actually talk, right? Whereas Scooby could sort of talk. Right. Oh. And Scrappy was, would talk, would say, say full sentences, and, and it didn't, the continuity yes. was broken. Yeah. My, yes, because that's what was wrong with that show. It was no longer suspended. Yes, exactly. Just saying. Um, let me let me um, clear that up. I'll give either of you guys five dollars if you can if you can name the fellow who voiced. Um, uh, oh shoot! Uh, uh, what was who was Scooby's pal? Um, 
Shaggy? Shaggy? Shaggy, yeah, thank you. Yeah. At least who, I knew that. Who, who, who voiced Shaggy? He's famous. He's also dead. Originally, I should say. I don't know who voices him now. He was, he was originally dead, and now. He was originally, <laughs> and then, and he, yeah, from the grave, he had the power he to returns. voice Shaggy. Uh, none other than Casey Kasem. No. Casey Kasem oh. was the voice of Shaggy. Really? What? That is Get, a shocker. Go, go check it out. Is that insane? Yeah. That is a mind blower cool. right um, there. Um, yeah. There's four but a lot of people who don't have gray hairs are like, who's Casey Kasem? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Casey Kasem. Uh, hi everybody. We are we are the uh, we are Bivens Brothers Creative Friday Melee. It's where uh, the three of us get together, and jab about techno things and nerdery, various nerderies, uh, including who voiced Shaggy from. Uh, Scooby Doo Adventures. Wait, what was it actually called? Scooby Doo. Uh, Just Scooby Doo. Scooby. Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. Don't complicate this. Okay. Scooby Doo. Sorry. Anyway, so Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. About... Where are you? Scooby Doo. Where are you? Was what it was called. Yeah. Scooby Doo. Where are you? Some word to comma. do now. But where were frankly, you? Frankly, it's it's written as Scooby Doo. Where are you? Exclamation point. Not question mark. Interesting. Oh. Yeah, uh, weird, huh? We we love it when people come and watch our show on a Friday because it's kind of like happy hour. And if you have tech questions, you can ask us about that. If you don't have tech questions, mm -hmm. you can just listen to us because it's kind of like accidentally falling into a conversation of uh, three friends that have way too many in jokes uh, and think everything they say is funny. That's us. And and so we're happy oh. that you're here joining us. Uh, so yeah, I, if you I have any questions. That we're insecure about, <laughs> it's more that we're insecure that, uh, that <laughs> nothing we say is funny. <laughs> and period. <laughs> Period. Uh, but today is really exciting because we have a fourth friend. Wicked, wicked, wicked fourth friend. Um, Y'all, we have friends. Four, four. Believe it or not, it we actually have friends. Friend we do. You. So we introduce Great. our fourth friend. Um, we should. Uh, ready, steady. Uh, uh, look, it's the Brady Bunch. Hey! Um, <laughs> 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 Help us. Um, uh, these lovely pictures behind three of us, three up, uh, came from the eye and the photographic ability of this man named Nathan Barris. Nathan Barris joins us from um, uh, Murphy, <laughs> North, Murphy North Carolina. Murphy, North Carolina. <laughs> Murphy, North Carolina. <laughs> Hi, Nate. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good. Um, so you, you're our very first guest officially on the Friday Melee, and nice. I'm happy to be the guinea pig. Yeah, you're the guinea pig, um, <laughs> Nathan. We were going to we were going to practice getting Nate on this uh, thing. We're we're using Ecam Live, which Nathan already has issues with. We won't get into that. But uh, you you had a little car trouble before you got here, but you're here. And, and the reason that we wanted to bring Nathan on today is uh, Friday Melee is all about ultimate levels of nerdery. <laughs> and something that Nathan has been working on for the last few weeks, months really, uh, yeah. is, is he's been doing an incredible, an incredible like live streamed television show basically in Murphy for an art school among many other things but he has been honing and honing and honing his uh, live stream portable live streaming setup and gear to this incredible level and we were hoping that maybe you would talk to us a little bit about your setup today Nate because anybody who's been watching yeah. this show uh, for six months realizes that we know very little about this and we sort of, you know, kind of show our uh, underwear? <laughs> What's the phrase? Anyway, anyway, so you've seen, you've seen us mess up. This is the guy that knows everything about it. Hi, Nate. He knows oh, everything about hi. underwear. I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know that I know everything <laughs> about it. But, you do. You um, do. 
What are you well, going to show us? I think today? that I'm, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to lay the groundwork for it first, and then I'll show it to you. How about that? Um, mm -hmm. The so one thing that I've realized doing this is that there are sort of as many different solutions as there are problems, and that there's no right one. So eCam is great for you, but it sucks for me. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I think Sick. you're right. I think it's probably a Windows. It's probably a Windows thing. So. Uh, okay. I, what I've been more focused on is the hardware end of things. So rather than I've, I found one piece of software that I liked a lot, the OBS, um, it's working great for me. Um, I'm going to switch my camera so you can see the box that I've built to integrate. Yes. Um, so I can actually show you. Let's see. Go to that one. There we go. Mm -hmm. So this this is a Pelican case that I chopped up a little bit and built some stuff into. Um, and I'm actually using it right now. So I've got. Uh, the internet's wired in here through a router that's connected to, I'll show you the underside in a minute, to a little little box in here and a router. I've got a Raspberry Pi in there. These are my inputs, so I can have up to four HDMI off of this um, coming from different camera sources or computers or anything. This here is a wireless bridge that's actually connected to the camera that you're looking through right now. Wow. Uh, this is my favorite piece of anything. This is called the ATEM Mini Pro ISO. and uh, what it does is it's a hardware switcher. So it allows you to input things. And just like in a broadcast studio, if you hit buttons, it changes your, your, the directions you're looking at, the cameras you're looking through, things like that. Um, but the fun part has been in the, the underside. Let me see. I'm moving things around. Sorry about the noise. Uh, this is where my audio is coming in through. So I'll try real hard not to disconnect that. Um, underneath here... I, this switch is where the AC comes in. So there's AC power back there. And yeah, it's fun. Uh, yeah. So underneath, uh, let's see here. I might need to take this back a little bit. I'm going to hopefully not make anybody motion sick by moving this backwards. <laughs> okay. if, you need, if you need adjustment time, I can go to Allison and then we'll come back to you. Hi, Allison. Why? Oh, Why'd you do that? That works. Go. Oh. <laughs> Just so he can adjust. All of us to choose from and Just you go with me. Cool. Why not? Yeah, Why not? Talk well, yeah. I, this I think is, this is my first time seeing this too. Yeah. And it's really cool. It is we're really, really fun. Fun. We are testing our loud behind the curtain here. This is the curtain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Indeed. I've been yeah. lucky. Yeah. Okay. I'll be quiet. Um, yeah. So anyway, this is this is it. It's it's got a router. This is the underside of the ATEM. That's the Raspberry Pi that runs the companion software that allows me to monitor everything from my cell phone and switch camera angles. Um, hey Nate, tell this people over what here. a Raspberry Pi is. Oh, it's a super small, low-power computer. It's uh, it's actually an ARM processor, so it's got uh, elements that that Mac people will enjoy. I guess I don't know. <laughs> Mac people don't enjoy anything. That's true. We're all oh, very uh, angry. Wow. Really miserable human beings all the time. I hit, Just I in, invested in invested in not. Yeah, that's well. That's fun. Um, <laughs> yeah. So. So back here is the pass-through. There's a plug in the outside. That's the AC power that comes in. And I used to have it all, everything plugged into this surge protector that I butchered, took apart. Uh, but I had some electrical gremlins two days ago. And so yesterday I took it all apart and rewired it. Um, so I, I put this do. DC convert. Yeah, you know, I mean. So everything is now running off of one single power supply. So this has power out. Oh, there we go. Coming. There's the AC in to this, and this is DC out right here, that goes to these bricks. This power brick is a distribution block uh, that goes to, I made these cables, that was really fun. I actually got to twist these up and solder little pins, barrel jacks on the end of it and do that. And you are so that's my it. So the whole idea behind this is simply that, that I, I needed to be able to go in and set up and break down a little bit faster because it was taking me hours to do yeah. all and it still takes me hours but it's slightly fewer hours and you can see up here so this is the wow. inputs come in and they go through this monitor and this is because and i repositioned it, everything it, it, Sorry. It, if it's a little difficult to tell the the monitor is also part of the case right like it's not just sitting yes. there like it's yeah you close the case and you no, close whole, the case with the monitor what yeah everything's everything is in there 
So oh, you see, it's God. it's actually bolted on, and yeah. Oh my God. Yep. I mean, oh cool. my God. The, the, so the cool. conversation. This is this is like some some stuff from from that movie. Anybody? Oh, anybody with me? What movie? The, the conversation with with Gene Hackman. Oh my God. Like, yes. Yes. That's a really good. It also made, it looks like uh, underneath your kind of your main platform, there's enough room under there to maybe like uh, smuggle something, or if maybe you wanted to be <laughs> so you could have your piece in there. Um, you can, or you, you can, can do. You can, yes, absolutely. Or maybe it's I have not yet put a weapon in there. Small, <laughs> sure. Yeah. Shurikens. Whatever. Mm, you know. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. So. Um, uh, Amy, yeah. Amy says, "Damn, Nathan, that's a real fine setup." If I, I know, I have a million questions, but I don't want to <laughs> hog this. So, if anybody watching has questions for okay. what in the world they just looked at, yeah, get to commenting because we have <laughs> we have a real life expert this time, you guys. This we do. Exciting. We yeah. do. We're not, it's not just oh. us blathering. It's not just us. We're a real life <laughs> person. Well, um, that would actually be. So, tell us what you yeah. use this for exactly. That's what I was going to say. I think. Uh, so what I've been doing is I'm I'm going to the John C. Campbell Folk School. Um, it, well, I have been going to the John C. Campbell Folk School. I just wrapped the 31st uh, hour-long live stream with them, Shoot. and that was the last one in this series. And so what we were doing was, um, because of the pandemic, they brought in, uh, typically this school, most people won't be familiar with it, but generally what they do is they have um, people come in as instructors, and they have, you know, 10 to 15 students come in, sometimes a little more, uh, and spend a week there and learn just one thing. So you might go and you learn uh, how to do an enamel brooch or how to make hooks if you want to learn blacksmithing. But it's it's usually it's very basic stuff. Um, for this, what they decided to do was bring in some really upper level uh, teachers, and they uh, have had them engage with people who were already involved in their fields. So the, all of the students, and there were usually three or four per class, all of the students uh, were already making a living at it, were already doing their thing professionally. And so it's, a much, it's like a master class, right? Yeah. Um, but then the students were the ones who stayed, and they would rotate through. So the students stayed for a couple of months, and the teachers rotated every couple of weeks. And wow. it gave them, yeah, it was like, and it was all grant-driven, so it was free for the students. They actually got, got a check to go. Um, That's yeah, awesome. it was amazing. And the live streams were geared to just like a little one hour sort of demonstration about one of the things that they were teaching, one important niche aspect of that um, uh, skill set. Yeah. You know, so with blacksmithing, it, it was blacksmithing, for example, it wouldn't have been, you know, how to make a hook. It would be, you know, how to forge a tomahawk, which is what we did last night, I guess, yesterday. Like you um, do. Like you do. But for me, it was, you know, I had to go in and I had to set this thing up and it's two hours. It was much more, but after this, it got to be two hours of setup. So it would be this and three lights and four cameras and a couple of microphones. And, and, you know, the video part, I didn't have a problem with, but the audio was the, that was the most difficult thing for me. Yes. And, yeah. And that was a, so that was a crash Oops. course. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah. It, so Amy's asking, it's a three-camera setup. What kind of cameras are you using? Uh, today it's three-camera setup. Yeah, I'm using two Nikon DSLRs. I've, I've got a Z6, two mirrorless ones, uh, Z6 and Z5, and then I've got a, a Canon uh, XA5 camcorder, I think is what that is. XA, XA50, XA50. Uh, the, the reason I went with a camcorder, it's a really nice high-end camcorder. It's not as pretty as the SLRs are, but... Uh, it's which I, I guess is the mirrorless cameras are, but it's way more versatile. So it allows you to zoom in and out, and if there's any sort of action, you can get really tight in. But if somebody's hammering on a piece of molten metal and you don't want to be more than, you know, you don't want to be within a foot or two of them, <laughs> then you can stand way back and just zoom in and not get burned. So, mm -hmm. so, so you've got to set yeah. it up, set up right now. I think it'd be really interesting to show uh, now that you. I mean, people have seen the, they've seen the box. You've seen the suitcase, right. <laughs> your briefcase. Okay. Now, can yeah, can you just show the different cameras and like what, what they'll do? Because sure. I mean, you can yeah. you can tell the angles. And so Nathan is like, just going into a place, setting up. I mean, now it's just opening up a case, basically, getting a you know right. getting a, a few things in place, 
Um, he's totally right about audio. That's always the part that melts my brain. But um, yeah, let's let's see what. How so uh, that one is a Z6, and it's actually the camera. I'll flip back. It's the camera I'm looking at right now. Okay, well. Is is that one? Uh, and then I'm going to go to this so I can move without making people unhappy. Uh, this one <laughs> is, that one's the They're Z5. Um, well, you know, motion sickness is no fun. That's the Z5, uh, which is, it's, it's another Nikon mirrorless. Uh, this one's got a 35 millimeter prime on it. I'll actually show you that angle so you can see that too. Let's see here. Uh -huh. So that's that angle. And then the tripod here is what my other camera is on. This is the XA50, um, which is a very decent camcorder. I mean, it's it's not the best in the world, but it's pretty good. And I've got a Hollyland uh, 400 wireless HDMI bridge on it, and it just runs off of a standard Sony NPF-style battery. So these batteries are super cheap and super powerful, and they're easy to... Uh, Easy to find and easy to use. They charge really well and yeah, all that. Yeah, so. <laughs> and, and one thing to one thing to note uh, for people watching this either now or in the future, <laughs> hopefully in the future too, is just that Nathan has some really nice cameras. He is a professional. However, uh, we the, the three of us are not professionals in the same field and. It, the camera part, there, there, there are a few elements of this that really kind of take uh, a, a I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing to the next level, especially for Nate. And part of it was his favorite piece, this A10 Mini that he kind of discovered mm -hmm. a few months ago. It kind of changed everything. And that, and that ease that yeah. you just saw of him flipping back and forth to the cameras, that's all the A10. And the A10 is handling a lot of gear. And the A10... Uh, you know the the lowest, the smallest one is three hundred bucks, which right. uh, if you are trying, if, if you are, for example, our friend Amy Cox, who needs to maybe set up for a musician, uh, a, a a video stream, a live stream, and you want to take it from here's a camera, I'm watching someone play, which is totally fine in 2020, but if you wanted to like kick it up. You get something that can run just a couple of cameras, and we're not. My camera is not fancy. I can, you know, I can like connect my iPhone to as one of the cameras. It's all about the views and the movement, right? It's all about like mm -hmm. getting from A to B and like giving a sense of this of of a television show, which is what Nate does. And when you when you watch his live streams, uh, for sure, it looks like. It it truly really looks like everything was planned out frame by frame by frame. Uh, it's really really magical. And uh, Amy also asked whether you can uh, record the video and audio at the same time, which I know you can. So yes. if you want to talk to yeah. that, yeah. Sure. Cool. So there's actually uh, so typically my my normal setup is I do the cameras into the ATEM, the ATEM into the computer, and the laptop only manages the broadcast and the recording element. Uh, so if you want to throw elements, like if you're using OBS, uh, if you want to add elements to that so that you get you know an intro, for example, like you play a video file. My typical scenario with the Campbell School was I would play a video intro, then a then a title intro for the class, then I would cut into the whole program. And then I would go to an outro file at the end. Um, so the file parts, the video parts that I would play, would play through OBS. Um, that's if you're doing that, then you can have OBS also record everything as it's broadcasting, and you can set the quality of the recording separately from the quality of the live streaming. So if you're streaming to Facebook, which doesn't like resolutions over 1280 by 720, uh, you can then set you know up to 4K or whatever you want in your live stream for that, that you're recording onto a hard drive. Um, so, so that's number one. Number two, if you decide you want to go with like the ATEM as a switcher, you can actually output from the ATEM to a drive. Uh, the, specifically, the Pro ISO is one that will either record the entire program as you switch it. It's super cool. So. When you do, the, when you press the buttons, you mash the buttons, and you're switching between different camera angles and whatnot. 
the ISO actually generates a DaVinci Resolve file. So it will not only record all of the individual camera inputs throughout the entire program when you hit the record button, uh, it will also record a DaVinci Resolve file. DaVinci is a, uh, it's a, another editing suite like Premiere or Final Cut. Um, it's free, the basic version is free, um, but it records all of your transitions. It records all of your audio files independently from each HDMI source, and there are two additional microphone sources. So what I do, um, do you care if I switch back to this camera over here? Please do. Here, I'll okay. give you the full vibe. Okay, so let me, there we go, this. Yeah. So what I do is I actually have um, my, all of my audio goes into, hold on, here we go. Bum, bum, that bum, coffee my cup. That coffee there it cup. is. <laughs> <laughs> coffee cup. Everything goes into the coffee cup in the end. Um, yeah, you know that. We all know that. Yes. So this this is just a little Mackie board, and it all comes out of this uh, through my outputs here and goes into an eighth inch my eighth inch plug that uh, I can't pull out and show you because which is my first inclination, um, but it actually plugs <laughs> into the. <laughs> right yeah. into the back of the mini um so over here I'm gonna spin over this way show you my mess on the floor and let's see up oh, there we go sorry this is not really what i was set up for there we go so on the back of the switcher here you've got two eighth inch ports here and here and on each of these you can apply everything from dynamics to, you know, you can do a limiter, you can do compression, you can do, uh, I don't remember, all of the all of the basic dynamic stuff. Do, a, a, you know, a low-pass filter, et cetera, et cetera, um, in order to allow you to, um, there, get back to that, in order to allow you to, to mix everything down in the board and then throw it into there, and then you can do like with the blacksmith whenever they're banging on the anvil, if I don't want to hear that, over everything else, then I just put a put a limiter on it, and it compresses everything down, and it's it's beautiful. It's really it's really an easy setup. I mean, it's, it's really beautiful. It's not been not been hard to do at all to learn. So, yeah. Um, I, I know we're I know we're diving deep, um, but especially since our our friend Amy is 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 out there. Also, there's there's one more thing that I kind of wanted to touch on that we haven't we haven't actually tried, but we've been talking about. Uh, another thing that this ATEM allows you to do is, uh, okay, you, or you don't actually need, uh, need the ATEM, but there is a, there is a bridge that, uh, y that you can, you, you can basically connect uh, with, with a minimal amount of gear. Uh, and, and this, this bridge basically allows uh, you, you, separate um, video sources, audio sources, all over the country. As long as you've got one of these bridges, to uh, to go directly, either ATIM or or OBS, and get this super duper clean. clean Nate can say more about it, but I was thinking <laughs> about this in like a, a music, a rock band uh, format, a rock band concept. Not that it would be synced perfectly, but because it wouldn't be too difficult to get individual files. You could then have some really, really nice sounding, clear video from afar, uh, as long as they've got this bridge. Tell them more about that, sorry. So you're talking about the Blackmagic streaming bridge, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Okay, so it's, a, it's an NDI source. Uh, basically what it does is it takes a uh, video feed from an HDMI or SDI input. So. If it's SDI, most really nice cameras, broadcast quality cameras, have SDI output. Don't ask me what it means, but that's the name of the connection. Um, the SDI can run a whole lot longer than HDMI. HDMI cables are limited to about 30 feet-ish, give or take. Um, SDI can go for 150 feet, I think. Um, but the it takes an input from some video source and then turns it into a video stream that you can send to something that can accept that type of a video source. So the ATEM has a, um, or excuse me, the OBS has an has a NDI plugin. Uh, Ecamm accepts sources like that. Uh, Skype even accepts them. 
Zoom accepts them. So all of those softwares will grab onto those streams and you can incorporate that stream into your uh, your broadcast as as a stream. Now, you were saying that the the there's a lag to the audio and all that. Lazy, but if yeah. you yeah, if you maintain like it's about a second, it's not super terrible. It's like a like a satellite feed on an old news program. Uh, so if you practice, you can get used to that with no problem. But if you are if you're looking at producing it on one end, then you've got an HDMI out, HDMI out on the ATEM. So if somebody at the concert, for example, has an HDMI uh, input source, like either an OBS system or an ATEM or something that can aggregate everything, then if you can output to an HDMI or an SDI, then you can plug that directly into your streaming bridge, give somebody on the other end of the continent the key, and then they're just able to grab it and, and hold on to it. But everything within the program that's streaming out will be synced up. Right. So you, you don't have to worry about like that. It's, it's no good for conversations like this, but it's, it's wonderful for, for broadcasting. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's that's what I was thinking. Just kind of like I've we we've been talking about how to get the three of us on one of those things, so that you're trying to like simplify the setup. And I think that maybe you know I don't know January February, <laughs> all of this talk, all of this thinking about this stuff, really just number one, it, there's no point, there's no reason in, in a lot of ways. But as as we as we keep going and probably, you know, after the summer, whenever the vaccine, whenever things go back to normal, which we have no idea when this is, this is part of the way that, uh, for artists, musicians, performers to kind of get all of this stuff tighter and tighter and tighter with less question marks with, with more control, better sound, better video, better everything. Right. Um, to the point yeah. where you could sell these things. You could sell, you could, you could, you know, you could sell streams yeah. uh, confidently. And so that's why we've been thinking about that. And that's why I wanted you to come on and, and show us your stuff. Huzzah. Show and tell Friday. Say, <laughs> uh, Thank you. Thank you, Nathan. This was uh, amazing. Yeah. Uh, so how... You have been talking about possibly uh, you'd certainly have the desire to maybe start taking like make being a guy that will build this for people out there. How would people get in touch with you if they wanted? Um, just my or? email or my website is NathanBarris.com and you can shoot me an email through that. That's probably the simplest. It's got all my contact information on it. Um, it's yeah. mostly geared to wedding photography, but. You know, I don't really do a yeah. lot of that right now. So, <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's so, true. Yeah. Um, yeah. But you are another example of somebody of an artist that is out there that is that is making uh, the best of of this situation, and we are super proud of mm -hmm. you and excited that oh, to know you and it's excited nice for this example of necessity being the mother of invention, and mm -hmm. uh, you're like you're you're like the dad and gremlins right except what you've built is works right. <laughs> i'm not buying anything from right yes yeah. no, no visiting might, chinatown. we don't really like to have a mogwai though you probably Does murphy have a chinatown <laughs> no no actually there's a chinatown <laughs> restaurant I, no. just walk in there and say do you have a mogwai yeah don't do that <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that would, <laughs> that would yeah. be terrible. Um, well, you don't have to necessarily go anywhere. We're we're gonna probably just for the next few minutes talk more nerdy stuff. But um, yeah, cool. Nate, you're the best. Thank you for being here. Mm -hmm. Thanks. You guys are the best. Thanks for having me. I loved it. It was fun. Thanks. Yay! Perfect. Yay! Good job! Yay! Oh, dog. <laughs> That's fun. We have Boom. a guest. We had a guest. Cool. <laughs> We've made it. Yeah, slowly but surely. Um, We're, uh, yeah. You know what? Here's the what? thing about having guests what? that I love. What? They're so much more interesting than us. <laughs> 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 at, least they, at least Nate is. We'll find out if that's true that's with true. guest number two. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You got some so mighty true. big yeah. shoes to fill, whoever you are, guest number I two. I know. Yeah, right. exactly. 
Mm. If Gaston Martin doesn't have any kind of d place to store their weapons or drugs, get them off the show. <laughs> I don't really don't know care. what that means. Oh, Nate had that super. It was oh, like the movie. Oh, okay. You're still in on the. Yeah. Put my weed in there. Yeah. I'll put my weed in there. I love it. Old, <laughs> yeah, I know. I want one of those. And then who knows? Could be you could put any you could put peanuts you could put Reese's Popcorn. peanut butter cups you could put Reese's um, Reese's call back Reese's, Reese's. Reese's. <laughs> Nathan cuts out uh, anyway anyways uh, technology yeah. was amazing and so it was just the thoughtfulness of giving yourself mm -hmm. a space to put secret things to say. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. I'm, I'm in, I get it now, and I'm yeah. into it. I'm super into it. I'm super into it. Uh, I want one of those things, like, tomorrow. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so uh, you're right. Well, tell anything that we are going to get tomorrow. <laughs> say that again? If you, if you, tell, tell folks, speaking of technology, what we might actually get tomorrow if, if you have your way, which I'm happy for you to have your way. Matt's very excited about the new M1 chip. I'm very excited about oh. the M1 chip. That was a great segue that I just totally. Uh, yeah, last week. I didn't, I didn't lay that well for you. No, it's okay. Worry. No, it's cool, man. It's cool. It's cool. So, yeah. Uh, so, last week, uh, I was talking about the fact that Apple has completely changed everything about their backs from now until the future. And But I said I couldn't really say much about them because. Uh, you know, physically they haven't changed. It's still a MacBook Air and it's a MacBook Pro and it's a it's a Mac Mini, right? The lowest, the lower tier computers that Mac sells. Not necessarily the worst, just more consumer based. And so everyone was like, "Ooh, uh, Apple had all these cr big claims and these really ridiculous, uh, absolutely nonsense graphs that just didn't. They didn't even have numbers. They didn't make any sense. But they kept saying three times, five times." faster everything is bigger and better and and more productive so i had to wait to hear the reports as these youtubers got these devices and did tests on them and the and the the end result is that they are they are a big yeah. shock they're actually a big shock to mm -hmm. the community to the whole computing world because they absolutely deliver this m1 chip I'm not saying it's the first. It's not the first time necessarily that a chip has been built with the graphics and the and the CPU and the RAM all together. But for for a computer that deserves, in so many ways, in the last ten years or so, deserves like a like a yeah. Well, I buy a Mac because you either love Mac OS or you love the 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 build of the computers. You just think it's sexy, right? But they were always falling behind, uh, performance-wise, uh, in a in a lot of different ways, and that is just that has changed this this last couple of weeks. Uh, so the M1 the M1 chip is the real deal. It's just the beginning. It's the first one of its kind. So it's it's a real. Uh, but so it's the price. Uh, it's the price what? that's the, the it's the price that is really the shocking part because it, they have not Apple's raised the prices. It's being expensive as hell. Yes. Um, yeah. Right. right. Well, actually, so, so the thing is, is it, that's what it is. That's what it is. It's not necessarily that Apple's changing the price of the of the of the base model MacBook Air. It, uh, mm -hmm. It's it's still a thousand bucks, right? That's I mean that's nothing to sneeze at. But as you said today, it's it's technically you less than many thousand, phones. Thousand I know. Right. Uh, but what they've done yeah. is the guts. It's finally worth a thousand dollars, is what people are finding. Is that it mm. is finally like a real usable computer. Like I'm right now, right this minute, uh, a MacBook Pro that has served me really well in the last two and a half years is just screaming. It's just so the fan is just uh, help me, you know. Like and and I've got a couple of things going. I it's understandable. But this was the norm. This is the norm. But it's not the norm anymore, right? Moving forward, this is not 
they they are the the MacBook Air does not have a fan, in fact, and people are stunned to find that these computers are not heating up. The the MacBook Pro does have a fan, and it it doesn't even turn on. It doesn't even come on most of the time. So it's a really it's interesting. Able thing. to come on. It's <laughs> Actually, they ship all the MacBook Pros with broken fans. No one knows why. <laughs> They're just broken. They just don't work. It's ridiculous. No, it, they don't turn on. They don't turn on at the same time, and people have been for, trying to force them. So, you know, if you are out there and you are thinking, I really need a new computer, and I really love Mac OS, but it has been a lame, lame few years for Apple products, which it has as far as computers go, I think that's changing. Like in the last week, and I'm super psyched about they did it. The same thing, and it's obviously still the the old Intel chip, but they it was a similar strange um, move. And maybe maybe this is maybe this means that they're heading in this direction in general. But when I bought my iMac, people were freaking out because they were like, "Oh my God, why are you putting all these iMac Pro features in just the base model iMac for the last edition, the last Intel iMac yeah. for yeah. that price?" Um, yeah, you know, you can get an iMac Pro blinged out for upwards of fourteen thousand dollars. You could right. buy a cheaper car than you could get an iMac Pro, but um, <laughs> they finally offered that at a level that I could afford, so I got it. And now and I just thought, okay, that's weird. And they were saying the same thing, like, oh, well, finally, why? Okay, some value, um, and and now here we are again, offering right. more value. Maybe um, Steve Jobs really is dead. <laughs> he's, his, he's dead. His ghost has left the building, and we don't even know what's happening in Apple anymore. <laughs> I think There's, I think the opposite. Wow. I think Steve has somehow come back to life. <laughs> oh, okay, great. That's that's he's my like, theory. You got him. Oh, it's like Max Headroom. He's somewhere in the in the Apple compound, just. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. It's taken how, how many years? How many years has it been? Uh, it's been quite a while now. But yeah, it's taken this many years. They finally finished taking his brain and digitizing mm -hmm. it. So it's now in in their like mainframe. And uh -huh. it's like blah, 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 one more thing, you know that. Uh, that's a that's a good theory. So he is he is fine. He's like, should I've ever seen. I know. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It was more like Daffy Duck or somebody. <laughs> yeah. no, no, Porky Pig. Oh, God. I'll never do that again. <laughs> I'll never do that again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, but, yeah, I think I think you're onto something, Biv, but I think it's that he's come back because it's – it's uh, people are saying, like – What? Jobsian level innovation is what yes. it starts to feel like. Mm. Like. That's what it's like feeling like. Jobzian, That's what it's feeling. The Jobsian era. The Jobsian era. The second Jobsian era. But if you're like a lot of us and you were falling out of love with your Mac shit and now it's back, Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi. The Force of yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So that's what I got to say about that. I'm psyched. Uh, I'm very excited. Uh, so thanks for... Th we'll, we'll keep you posted if, if one or two has been purchased and a segue from there uh which i'm very proud of our our friend allison kendrick has uh has has hit a milestone this week something that she's been talking about a lot for a long long time uh something that should have probably happened a long long time ago um uh, <laughs> uh bivens brothers bivens brothers creative now has an instagram uh, channel we actually even had it for a long an instacart um an instacart the, yes yes we finally we have an account instacart. and uh yeah i'll put the little ticker tape try our new instagram oh, yep. at bivens brothers so delightful it's so delightful would you like to tell them more allison well, so first of all, yes, I have been talking about doing it for a really long time. And then last week on this very show, I mm -hmm. told everybody that they need to take me to task. So we just do it this week. Um, let's be very clear about this, though. Like everything else that we do, it was a team effort. I wish I could tell you that I just exploded creativity. Um, but it, it was, you know, I started, I tinkered. I have he made it actually look good. 
we passed it to Matt. Matt, you know, made it even funnier with some really tight D&D references because it's us. So we had to do that. Um, and then we pitched it to Lindsay to bring it home by teaching us how to make it even more accessible and got to learn all about how to include alt tags yeah. on Instagram posts, which is a really cool functionality available mm -hmm. now so that screen readers um, can uh, dictate what pictures are for those who are blind, and have low vision. Exactly. It's pretty cool. It's incredibly so cool. So thank you guys. Thank you guys for, for making the magic happen, really, yes. truly. Yeah, I, you know what? I, I have to, I have to say, it, it is some some social media outlets are difficult, are more difficult for me to grasp than others. But I'm I am excited about this. I'm excited about mm -hmm. uh, an Instagram uh, that. So, uh, Allison, you may have noticed our it's it's very it's very tailored at this point. I, I had a question. Mm -hmm. Actually, Lindsay had a question mm -hmm. too. Uh, mm -hmm. Does now. From from now on, do we keep to that? So you have to sort of think three, at least three um, posts ahead, or do you drop three it for a while? Yeah, and then do you go back to the nine? What do you do? Um, it, it's it's up to us. So I will say, for as long as I've been a social media manager, this is the first time I'm ever getting to build an Instagram from the ground up, um, from beauty base zero. So I'm really excited about that. Um, Evan and I did talk a little bit about the grid before we moved forward with it, um, and we're going to try and protect it. It won't look exactly like it does right now, um, but we're going to try for th probably three posts a week. So there might be a couple of days where it gets wonky, um, and then it writes itself by weekend following some kind of you know color scheme and aesthetic. That's the goal. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Yeah, that, thank you for answering yeah. my question. My question. Um, yeah, it's I fun. It's fun. I I want I want to do fun things. I want I want um, I want you guys to keep uh, I want you guys to keep coming and 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 asking us questions, tough questions that we possibly can turn into Facebook things. Mm -hmm. Like I really want I want to be able to. It's it's been a dream of ours to kind of get more into the hey, this is a cool thing that we really enjoy and we know you know, at least a smattering about it. Mm -hmm. uh, we would like to talk about it. And there is, you know, like bringing Nate on today. It's, it's, uh, that's the kind of stuff that keeps us going and keeps us inspired. So, uh, I think that yeah. we have a pretty, I think we have a pretty interesting voice most of the time. We have, yeah. you know, we have, we have things to say. So, so yeah. let's, let's start it was, doing it there. It I already knew that I loved obviously collaborating with you two, but I loved getting to work with Lindsay on this. And it was yeah. funny because she and I were kind of schooling each other. She had a lot of, you know, hows and whys of just Instagram in general for me. And then she was able to answer a lot of my questions about how to make it more accessible. Yes. Um, so I think we may have forged a beautiful partnership. Oh. Um, <laughs> that I'm really yeah. excited about. Um, um, yeah. So yeah, and I'm I'm excited to learn that because I I you know of the the Bivens brothers creative team and the laggard when it comes to accessibility, um, so it's made me want to kind of sharpen that tool set up my game, uh, get, get on y'all's level, um, and then we could all level this up from there. Yeah, let's level. Let's level. What's that let's face, Evan? Up. Evan Evan's making faces at me. Yeah, what you got? I'm not, you're already on the level, girl. <laughs> Mm. Mm. <laughs> the level can I, girl. Can you go across the river? Can yes, you across the river sticks. Well, I'm I'm already on the banks, barking my head off. <laughs> Have you brought payments for the ferryman? <laughs> know your role. Daniel <laughs> Payne, uh, ferryman. Yeah, anyway. yeah, I love it. I love it. I'm excited about it. Super, super fun. So for um, all four of you watching, if you're not following, go yeah, follow, go like all of the nine posts that we put up, mm -hmm. share it with your mm -hmm. friends. You the know, we, 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 one thing I am proud of, we've more than doubled our following in less than 24 hours. That's nice. That's nice. nice. That's fun. We could, we could <laughs> keep it up. <laughs> we shall keep it up. Uh, yeah. Well, just give us, it's been, it's been a, uh, it's a been a very busy place for us and we are super grateful for you guys mm -hmm. watching and uh, being able to work in a, in a time that's kind of creepy. 
just call it creepy. Mm -hmm. So it means wacky a lot balls. to us. Wacky, 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 wacky. Yeah. Anything that you have to share this week, brother? Nothing interesting. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I don't. I mean, God. I mean, people are have been watching us for fifty minutes now. It's it's yeah. it's definitely not important. Um, maybe next week I'll talk about. Last week, you and I were talking about um, XD and how I kind of had discovered uh, a, a lot about XD that I didn't know that I presumed, yeah. and then found that it had a lot more features. And then this past week, I discovered where um, my lack of expertise in that mm. a lot of stuff slipped through the cracks from translation a lot of a lot was lost lost in translation between me and the developer from what i was giving them oh. mm. so it's a little it's a little in depth and, and probably a lot boring but, but so we'll save it for when people are uh, have fresh ears but um yeah that yeah. is it's a that's a new, it's a more powerful tool than I thought. And there's a lot more for me to learn. Let's get back up on. Yeah. There <laughs> yeah. Let's get back up on there next week. I'd rather talk um, about Star Wars. I've been getting into uh, Star Wars Rebels. Oh, recently. Yes. Yeah. Did you ever watch Star Wars Rebels? Nope. I have not watched nope. any of the animated, anim animated ones yet. Oh, God. Well, um, man, Star Wars, the Clone Wars is mm -hmm. brilliant, brilliant. And this it's the same team doing that. So, okay. um, yeah, uh, those are that. the only animated ones I've watched, but I, I don't, I don't, I don't, there's other ones like Star Wars resistance or something. I, I don't know. It's okay. I, it might be good too, but I, I don't know anything about that. I'll start with clone. Anyway. I enjoyed a movie on Netflix called prospect. That uh, yeah. that is just yeah, you really yeah. beautifully designed. It's very simple, super simple story. Uh, yeah, we it was a it was a delightful surprise. It's got a little like heartwarming element to it. Uh, okay. So yeah, prospect. If you were looking at it and were like, "Ooh, look at those interesting saturated colors," I wonder what the movie's like. It's a pretty good movie. So give it a shot, everybody. I love saturated colors. Oh yeah, and saturated colors don't stop. Saturated colors in space. <laughs> saturated colors in space, or maybe not saturated colors in space. Um, I gotta go eat dinner and then watch the Frick Frack and Mandalorian, my man. Yeah, yeah, you do. Yes, you do. I've been told that you uh, do. Amy Cox, I have not yet seen my octopus teacher, but I know that people say it's incredible. I don't um, want to cry more than I already yeah. have this year. So I have refused to watch it thus far because apparently it is just going I, to drain you of tears. Ew. Oh, yeah. See, I don't, I don't, I don't need that. <laughs> I don't need that. that. Evan, don't do sad. But if it's good, I no. do sad. I'll, I would love to cry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'll make you cry. <laughs> yeah, I know you will. Do it. Do it. Um, we, do we, it we cried tears of joy that you are out there. So thank you for coming uh, out and watching and watching this in the future. And thanks again to our genius friend, Nathan, for coming on and showing his his gear and his skill. Uh, next week- And giving us these lovely backdrops. Yes, oh yes, and the lovely, lovely black backdrops. Can you buy these backdrops, Steve? Are these backdrops for purchase? He's shaking his head no. So you are, you are, I'll give you one more beautiful shot. I'll try are they available for later. theft? <laughs> <laughs> With a watermark. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think Clearly. These, these, Don't these, crop that watermark out. We will yeah, come these, after you. We will. We will come after you, punish you, break your legs, whatever it takes. And we'll come um, after you with his new case filled with audio and visual equipment and... and Snacks and a gun inside. <laughs> Glocks. Yeah. <laughs> Multiple so, Glocks. Yeah. Snacks and, and a gun. Snacks and a long. gun. Right? <laughs> What'd you say? He can also fit a samurai sword in there, but not the long one, the short one. <laughs> and he'll come at yeah. you. He's like Razgar, obsessed with short swords. <laughs> anyway. 
Anyway, you guys are the best. Thank you. Next week, I guess we'll decide. Next week is Thanksgiving, so you know we're not sure whether this. We'll see you next week or not, but don't don't worry. We'll be back whether you whether you're watching it or not. Yeah, we'll we'll live stream. We're gonna live stream all. our entire meal. You're gonna watch us <laughs> and most importantly, listen to us eat. Eat. Really Chewing. close mic, like Chewing full some hours. ASMR Close. with our yeah. turkey. Yeah, it's um, gonna be disgusting. It's the worst. It's so the look worst. forward to that. And until the next time, we will see you guys uh, soon. Thank you. Bye.